right, we're back with E92 content, as everyone requested. Just kidding, no one requested. I barely have 100 subscribers. I mean, I do have now 100 subscribers, but we're back with the E92 content. Um, this shit is tuned now. Big boy powers. Nothing too crazy, but definitely faster than what it was. And when you like it has wheels blacked out, it's nice sitting. I don't know if it's not on lowering springs, but it sits low enough. The exhaust is different, everything's cool. Badges are blacked out, you know, but it's lacking something, and the back is just too stuck. All right, so my boy Tino he picked up a wing that we got right here. I'm sanding it so it looks dirty, just ignore that. But I kind of like this wing just because So this wing sits Put it down slowly Alright That's good This wing sits like this N Nice and um, slick Nothing too much But back here you have that line going across Which is just gives it a little bit more character So I love that um, so as you can see, it's been painted, but the paint is fucked up. So what I'm, what I'm thinking is, it's wet sand, I mean sand the paint off and then wet sand it smooth, and then we're gonna wrap it. And I forgot to record, but as you can see, this thing is just done. Sanding, I sanded the fuck out of it. The bottom doesn't really matter. The less smooth, the, the better it's going to stick anyways. But I stay wrap wrapping and I wrap the edge. But it's so hard when doing it one person, especially tiny pieces like this, because you really can't hold it and wrap at the same time. So it really helps if it's on, the, on, a, like, on somewhere, on a stool, on a table, or installed. Uh, or you have someone else to help you out because I really need to heat up the edges unless this is not gonna look good. Um, but my dad's gonna help me out in a bit, maybe, I don't know. But, and also I'm not gonna install it first because I want the wrap to be tucked underneath and then installed. But we'll see how it goes. So far so good. All right, spoiler lip is wrapped all oh, nice we got fingerprints all over it it's all good just have to put it on now down here um i have silicone for the bottom and then a seal silicone black for the lips on the top and the side, the rear, we're not going to seal because let's say water gets in there. We want to have the rear open so the water can escape. But if the water gets trapped in there, then it molds, right? So I'll show you how to seal the edges pretty nicely. But as far as it goes, clean the trunk, put silicone on this, not trunk, on this, and then put it. And you don't want to put the silicone super close to the edges because then when you push it it all comes out so leave like this much gap to the from the edges sorry for the lighting but this is how it's sitting i'm pushing these up pushing these down with the tape as you can see a lot of tension on it and then in the meantime we're gonna clean up the excess or whatever the hell got all over the car because it's gonna be harder to clean later on especially on some of the co um, silicones that dry faster like dry dry so fast like still these ones are kind of drying up so I'm gonna stop recording and get to this before it's too late <laughs> all right the wing is on looks freaking good So when I put it on with the silicone, I had tape pushing from down here, pushed up, and then pressed here, and then same from up here, put um, tape on the edge or on the top, 
pushed and pulled down sorry pulled down from the bottom pulled up pulled down just like that all over this thing till today because i was working on it last night so now that it's a little bit more dry we're just gonna go seal the edge over here and here and here we're leaving the bottom open the reason being that um If you don't leave it open, when it rains, water gets goes up there. For some reason, we're not gonna be perfectly sealing it, right? Water might go in there over time. And then we don't want it to get trapped. We wanna leave the bottom open so it can just escape. Also, don't use packaging tape or any other tape. I didn't have my painter's tape, the blue ones. So the tape kinda stuck to the bottom and it was pulling the wrap. I laid it back down, but that just happened on one of the tapes but it's not the best option i just i use matt that's all i had and don't judge me this is dirty right now because i've been working on the car moving it back and forth all right just like this so we have a clean line to lay this on and then press press it with this and then take the tape off just like this we're gonna have a clean line as we pull it ignore that it's gonna fix itself just pull it Clean line. You have to press into it unless it's not gonna. It does get really uh, unpredictable sometimes, depending on the weather, your tape, how hard you stick it in there. You know, I just stick in the edges very hard. The rest of it, I just let it be. Like that's that's ideal right there. That's what you want to have. But then some spots are like that. That you can just wait for it to um, dry and then go over it a little bit just like a tiny bit with a razor don't cut the car with the laser razor just push with the tip of the razor in so it kind of it's a little cleaner the parts that are coming out like this just push it with the tip of the razor in like that part right there we need to push it in with the tip of a, the razor but you don't want to touch the car because that's going to leave a mark obviously but yeah, I just need this part and that's it. This is done. Cleaned up. Then now it's weather proof, everything proof. It's rain proof, all good. Thanks for watching, hopefully this helped. Um, what, what I realized, I mean, I've done this like probably like four times so far just hold installing like lips and stuff trunk lips but now i realize you just need to push as hard as you can on the little thing and just tape pull the tape off just whatever happens to it doesn't matter pull the tape off give it some time it's all good and then go back to do some tweaks all right thanks for watching